Hello students, this is Amol Ingole. In this video, I am going to explain state diagram for convolution encoder. The convolution encoders are finite state machines. Entire behavior of a convolutional encoder can be represented using state diagram. So the state diagram is one more way of representing convolutional encoder. We have already discussed tree diagram. So this is the second way of representation of convolution encoder. At any time step, the encoder will be at any of the two raised to power m finite states where m is nothing but the depth of memory. State of the encoder is represented by a circle or a box like this. So if the encoder is in the 0, 0 state, you can show that state in the state diagram by a circle and the state written inside it, that is 0, 0. Or you can also use a box to show the state and the state written here of 0, like this. Whenever input changes, there will be shifting of bits in the encoder, which also changes the state of the encoder. So this change in the state of the encoder can be shown with the help of lines with arrow pointing towards the next step. So you can use a darker line when the input is 0. You can use a darker line with arrow when the input is 0 and when the input is 1 you can use a dotted line with arrow pointing towards next step. The arrow should point towards next step whether the input is 0 or 1. Initially encoder will be in the 0 states right so you have to start drawing the state diagram considering the encoder in 0 0. State diagram can be drawn from the response table or it can also be drawn from the tree diagram which we have discussed in earlier video. So we have already discussed tree diagram so you know well how a response table is prepared for the given numerical. At any input sequence uh, it can be encoded using state diagram. These are a few examples of state diagram. You can see here, here a box is used to show the state. Here, a circle is used to show the state of the encoder. Here, darker and the dotted lines are shown for input bit 0 and input bit 1. Whereas, there is one more way of showing, showing the input and output. You can use all dark lines by showing the input bit and the corresponding output bit by giving a slash. So one oblique the output. So this one indicates the input bit and oblique after oblique whatever whatever you see is, is the output of that. Let us discuss this numerical. A feedforward convolution encoder is given below. You have to construct a straight diagram and encode the input stream 1010. So we are considering the same numerical which we discussed in the tree diagram. Uh, this is what you can easily identify from the from the statement of the numerical that is n is equal to 2, k equal to 1 and number of memory stages m is equal to 2 and if you know how to how to draw this uh, response ta table how to prepare this response table or you can also use the earlier video to understand how this table is drawn okay, so i'm considering that you know it very well how to draw the response table let's move ahead and see how a state diagram is drawn. So we are, we are following uh, 
this this way of showing the 0 and 1 1 bit input we are using darker line with arrow for showing the 0 input and dotted line with arrow for showing the input 1 you have to start with the 0 0 0 so first thing I'll show is all the possible state of the encoder so as we are discussing uh, encoder having two two memory units so there will be two raised to power two that means four state of the encoder so those four state I am showing with circle I am using this way of showing the uh, state of the encoder so I have shown you can use any sequence uh, to show the a b c d or all, all possible state okay let's now begin so you have to start with the zero zero state when you are in 0, 0 state and you are giving input 0. So, I am giving input 0 that means I have to use a darker line. Show the next state. The next state would be 0, 0. That means you are in 0, 0 state giving input 0. The next state would be 0, 0. So, the same thing can be shown like this. As there is no change in the state, you can show the same state by showing a loop. And this is the output. This is the output 0, 0. This is the output 0, 0 of giving the input 0 and the initial state is 0, 0. Okay. Now, the second row of the response table is you are in 0, 0 state and giving input 1. The next state would be 1, 0. Next state would be 1, 0. So, here I am going to use the dotted line. Why? Because I am considering input 1. So show show the next state as 1 0 so this is the next state 1 0 I'll be showing this with a dotted line along with the output the output will be 1 1 output will be 1 1 here okay so the 0 0 state is over now let's now see 0 1 state or state B so you are in now 0 1 state and giving input 0 the next state would be 0 0 that means from 0 1 when the input is 0 you will go to 0 0 state the darker line is used because we are considering 0 as the input with output 1 1 so 1 1 is the output this is the output 1 1 okay now when you are in 0 1 state and input 1 is given you will go to 1 0 state so from 0 1 next state would be 1 0 if the input is 1 so the same thing can be shown with a dotted line along with the output here output will be 0 0 right so two, two states have have been completed let's now see the 1 0 state 1 0 you are in 1 0 state and you're giving input 0 you are in 1 0 state giving input 0 the next state would be 0, 1. I am showing this with a darker line because 0 input is considered. The output will be 0, 1. You can see this here. Output will be 0, 1. When the input is 1 and state is 1, 0, the next state would be 1, 1. So, next state would be 1, 1 showing this with dotted line along with the output 1, 0. You can see this here. 1, 0 is the output next state is 1 1 from 1 0 to 1 1 along with output 1 0 now the last state which is 1 1 when you are in 1 1 state here and the input bit is given as 0 you will go to 0 1 state here is the 0 1 state so show this with darker line along with the output 1 0 along with the output 1 0 same thing input 1 state 1 1 and you will remain in the same state right so show this with a loop with the dotted line right show this with the loop with dotted line along with the output 0 1 so this is how you can you can draw the state diagram once you have the state diagram ready you can use this state diagram to encode the input bit stream of any length to encode the input bit stream of any length so we are considering now the input bit stream which was given in the numerical and it was 1010 
let us encode this using state diagram i'm considering the same state diagram which we have prepared let us encode the output the first bit you have to start with see you have to start with a uh, zero zero always so i'm starting it with zero zero now i'm entering first input bit that is one so when you input the first bit as one one input bit is used that means you have to use a dotted line so follow the dotted line because input bit is one and it will take you to the next state that is one zero this we have already drawn so why why to use dotted line because the input bit first input bit is one so for one we are using dotted line for zero input bit we are using darker lines from the state field so we were in in the initial state zero zero and then the input bit one was given and it took us to one zero state with output one one so we'll be only writing the encoded output as one one here let us take the second bit second bit is zero that means you have to follow darker line from the state this state from this state you have to follow now so zero is the input given so you have to follow the darker line which leaves one zero so this is the darker line which is leaving one zero state and it will take us to zero one along with output zero one so zero one is the output it's not the state this is what you have you are supposed to write here 0 1 as the output let us consider now the next step from 0 1 state so next bit is 1 next bit is 1 so this from this state state you have to follow dotted line because input bit is 1 so dot following the dotted line leaving from this 0 1 state following a dotted line leaving from 0 1 state that will take us to 1 0 again okay and you have to you have to take this 0 0 as output 0 0 as output bit okay again you are in you are at uh, 1 0 state taking the last bit now it is 0 again so you have to follow a darker line going out from 1 0 so the darker line going out from 1 0 that means the output uh, the input bit is 0 Again, you have to take this as output 0, 1 here. This is how you can you can trace down any output. You can trace down any output from the state diagram. It need not be always a 4 bit. It, it can be of any length. Any length input bit stream can be encoded to get the output. Thank you.